Welcome to my channel on CD Made Easy. In today's video, we are going to look at Y2020, paper two, question one. This question is from plane geometry. Remember your paper one and paper two contains plane and solid geometry. So the question is how to determine the diameter of a circle when you are given the circumference. So in this question, we have the circumference given as 115, 115 mm. So in order to do this, the first thing we are going to draw is the given line, the given circumference, which is 115. So bring out your pencils and your rulers and let's draw the line. So 115 millimeters, you convert it to centimeters, that gives you 11.5 centimeter. To measure your line, 11.5, and name the line as point A and point B. So I have line AB, which is 115. Now the next thing is to bisect the line. When you want to bisect the line, remember you need to pick a radius that is more than half of the line. Okay. Strike an arc above and below. Center at B. Repeat the same procedure. To so cut the first arc above and below. Okay, so we can now draw the bisector. After you have drawn the bisector, the next thing is to draw a semicircle on line AB. Center the bisector using a radius from the bisector to point A or point B, from the bisector to point A or point B. So pick the radius and draw your semicircle. All right. The next step is center at point B. You have to describe an arc using the radius that you use to draw the semicircle, which is from the bisector to A. I'm still using the same radius from the bisector to point A. Using the same radius, you can as well confirm the radius is the same to B. So now center at B. You describe an arc. center at B from the bisector. You draw an arc to touch the circumference of the circle at point C. Let's name this point as point C. All right, so this is point C. So from point C, you can drop a perpendicular line. Drop a perpendicular line from point C to touch line AB at point G. At point D. 
you can use your set square to drop the perpendicular line this way. From C, you take it down to line AB. That gives you point D. So now using radius DC, using radius DC, let's get the radius. All right, using radius DC just like this, center at D, you draw another R to cut line AB at point E. So I'm going to name the next point as point E. Point E. Okay, guys, the distance between A and E is the required diameter. So how do we confirm this? Let's take the measurements. This is 3.6, around 3.65. So how do we confirm this? We can use the formula for calculating the diameter of a circle when you're giving the circumference. And that is your circumference, circumference Circumference equals pi d. Pi is 3.14 and d is the diameter. But in this case, we want to assume we don't know d. So pi times d gives the circumference. So we can make it the subject of the formula. So we have d equals C, which is the circumference over C over pi. So D equals the given circumference is 115 divided by pi. Pi is 3.14. When you calculate this, 115 divided by 3.14, your D will be equal to 36.6 millimeters. So when you take this to centimeters, you get the same answer. So AE, AE is the required diameter. AE is the required diameter. And AE equals 36.6 millimeters. 